Peace, peace, family. So I'm back with another one. So today what I wanted to do was I wanted to talk to my chosen ones about challenging the ones around you, ideology, thought process, you know. I don't really want to say their beliefs if it's religions, but their ideology and their thought process. And what brought me to this subject today was I was really in the process of meditating and somebody was walking past right back here leads to it's a trail and it goes through the mountain and you can kind of just it goes a long way but somebody was walking through here and they just kind of stopped and was just kind of conversating a little bit and was telling me about how they got a sister that like studies theology and um just do different things to kind of like help the community and the ones around her um through uh the matrix way and i say challenging people thought processes today is because every time i engage with someone it's like that's what i love to do it's not as it's it's a challenge for me because it's a challenge as far as creating the right recipe at the right speed and time you know what i'm saying because we know it's like a microwave society right but diving being able to dive into someone and what they're putting on the table right away to be able to present something to challenge or to help assist in another area that's huge for us out here you know what i'm saying because it's not a lot of people out here that's challenging people's thought processes you know you you challenge the belief system but you're not challenging the thought process i just I stray away from the belief too much because uh, I see she was like Middle Eastern, so I, I was I didn't want to assume that she was like Islamic or Muslim because there was no raps or anything, and she spoke pretty English. I'm pretty sure she Westernized, you know what I'm saying? But it made me think about um, just being able to communicate with her, just some random person just in passing about. You know, and challenging their thought process and in their sister's thought process in a healthy manner about as far as different angles and ways she can approach helping the community around her the way that she wants to help the community around her. Because it gets a little tricky trying to help the community around you when you go through the matrix system. You know what I'm saying? Whether you're doing it through like nonprofit organizations or you know you with some volunteer programs or you 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 have some kind of uh llc program that is like a third party to like some corporate or some other major entity you know what i'm saying because they're always going to have their hands in the midst of uh the control of what you're doing it's not so much as the funding it's more so just the control because them people got so much money they don't really care about the money it's not about the money so when we dealing with people out here whether it's young people middle-aged people old people challenge their thought process you know i may not never see them again but for me I was able to do a small part of my part as far as the universe and just assistant. Okay, her sister studies theology, you know, went to the university and and doesn't this shit through the the matrix. But it's like you would be able to help more people in your community if you would take that and create something yourself to where you have more control over how you help people. You know, it's a lot of organizations that say they helping people and it's some that's actually are helping people but it's people that's not in your community it's people that you don't see you don't feel the 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 shift or the the change or or the energy that you put into it you know what i'm saying you just know that it happened like okay well we did this right here we did this beneficial uh program for this community over here but you don't really know how many people that it affected over there you don't know how it actually impacted their lives it it makes the process a lot easier if you can do it in your you know your field your space that you're in because then you'll be able to get more personable with it 
even if it's just for a split second like that being right there that walked past that was a little bit more personal than somebody hitting me on my social medias or something you know what i'm saying so just being just being aware of being aware of different ways to create this shift right and to be able to assist the shift because you you're not always going to know right away if somebody's a uh, fucking zombie or if they're a sheep you know what i'm saying you're not going to know if they're a demon or if they're a sheep you're not always going to be able to tell but when you plant little seeds and ideas like that it doesn't matter if you actually see the fruits from it you know what i'm saying you did your part if you plant a tree in california and you live in new york you 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 have to travel over there to constantly see the growth and progression of it you just have to understand and know that okay you did your part now the universe has to do their part and has to do the rest you know what i'm saying it's only but so much that you can do but i feel like it's it's fire like it's dope when you could challenge people thought process and belief you know what i'm saying and 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 look for some kind of clarity or direction with it you know what i'm saying because it's too much confusion out here. We go over this back and forth all the time. It's a lot of confusion shit out here. So if you already know and already assume 98% of the people are confused, right? And you engage with somebody, you're not going to assume that, oh, damn, this is the 2%. You know what I'm saying? You just have to automatically take it as confused and then work with it from there and then see how much confusion it is right there. Are they confused on just this level here? Or are they just confused all the way up here? You know what I'm saying? On every level possible. But that's the only way we really go and create this shift and make this impact the way we want to is by doing it within ourselves and the ones around us. You know what I'm saying? It's not always about cutting people off. Yes, we do cut a lot of people off. Yes, we do isolate and move around and do all that shit. But like a situation that happened just now didn't have nothing to do with me cutting nobody off you know i could have kept it stale and not communicated and engaged but they was asking questions prying you know trying to dig in so i just you know i gave them a little bit of energy back which allowed me to open myself up to oh i don't have to meditate all day because the universe just sent me a vessel and a subject to discuss at hand something that is going on right now that's happening consistently and daily you know what i'm saying so what better way than to be able to just challenge people? That's even what I did with the older women when I had ran into them out here. It's always in this space right here. And it's the same thing, just challenging their thought process, you know, just putting another idea out there for them. Because that's something else that they have to deal with in the spiritual realm. You know what I'm saying? If they feel like they're moving in a great light, and then you... And vessels like me come across and then we just drop some different new ideas up there. It challenged this whole thought process. And it makes them rethink about what they are actually doing. Now, that's if they're sheep. Now, if they're just a demonic witchy witch, then uh, you know they don't give a fuck about none of that shit. None of that shit matters. So, challenging their thought process. Whether it's asking a question or shifting a statement i had took the mini out to the pool and appreciate all the love on you know the matrix father's day i do this consistently all day so i don't even celebrate the holiday i don't celebrate none of their holidays but i'm not just going to reject the energy you know for the ones that care about me that sent it you know i appreciate it i definitely appreciate it it's weird that we get acknowledgement for doing what the fuck we supposed to be doing like i always say that shit is weird like i'm just doing what i signed up to do and i get a lot of appreciation for doing it and i know that's because i'm being compared to all the other motherfuckers out here that's not doing it but I, that doesn't juice me or put a battery in my back i just this is what i'm fucking supposed to be doing it's that's just how it flows but diving in to understanding like a lot of people is not researching and looking up the things that we do you know or taking the time to even meditate and do certain things so when we come across in their space 
it's our job to challenge their thought process, their belief system. It's a war going on out here, right? So they may not know right now, but if you challenge their thought process, then it could be three months, six months down the line. They'd be like, oh, shit, yeah, I remember I ran into... That guy, he was over there filming and he had mentioned this and then all of a sudden, like, you know, the, the energy starts shifting and things start happening. You know what I'm saying? It, you're not always going. I understand. I'm not always going to see the physical fruits. That's just plain and simple. You know what I'm saying? We are not always going to see the fruits. Um, But spiritually, when you've been walking in this light for a long time, you already understand which ones is going to actually grow into something and which ones is just gonna die the fuck out and you give me like damn I, I put a lot of energy into that plant right there and I knew I put it in a bad location I knew it didn't have the right nutrients and all these things but you still tried it anyways that's just what we do you know what I'm saying but I ain't want to run it up too long tapping everything down below peace and love to the kings and queens